talking about the VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week, I have been co-opting this to just mean any nice productivity tip trick of the week <laughs> lately. And my okay one that. this week is you should follow uh, Elijah Manor on Twitter because I have in the last week seen two of his uh, little videos on there about combining different uh, shell commands into some pretty awesome workflows. My favorite was how to check up, check out a PR from GitHub with a live preview. And his video will go through all of the steps like, okay, I'm going to list all the PRs through the GitHub CLI. Then I'm going to pipe that into this fuzzy searching tool. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the text from that and I'm going to preview it down beneath. And then I'm going to pipe that to Xargs and check out whatever you selected at the end. And um, it's a nice like step-by-step -step version showing you that. And I just, I like when I can have cool command line tools like that. I don't know. Command box has spoiled me. My so. <laughs> goal is now see if it's possible to do this in command box. It probably is. <laughs> uh, the GitHub. I, uh, I don't have an exact replacement to Xargs. My 4H is similar, but it's more of a loop. It's not yeah. a pure Xargs. Because um, what Xargs does is, is it takes a list of items. It runs a command and it just passes all of those as all the arguments. But the traditional use case of that is when you want to like cat a bunch of things. Right. And so you could, could might as well like cat them all individually. Anyway, random side tangent. But yeah, it'd be really interesting to. I'm actually kind of watching the preview right now in his Twitter feed just without the sound. Um, so we'll throw those into the into the show notes. Um, again, I thought they were pretty neat, and I like combining the command line tools together. Forgebox has command for things like this, like piping your commands together, creating aliases. So you can definitely do this. I think I said Forgebox. I meant command box. Um, also fits right into some of the things, Brad, you've been working on some new UI tools coming to a Forgebox near, near us sometime. I have. Yeah. It's kind of a separate, uh, were you actually wanting me to talk about them or are you just saying that? Uh, I, I know we teased it, uh, in your tweet a couple weeks ago. I just, I'm excited oh, okay. about it. I didn't know if you'd talk about that tweet. Uh, right now it's a separate module. My goal is just to become core to, to command box. Yeah, Scott Steinbeck has been working with me on um, something that I've wanted to do, honestly, years. It's just one of those things that's like, I don't have the time to do it. But I was on site at a client last week and just spent all the evenings messing with it. But it's basically a curses library for command box. And uh, anytime you've ever gone into like a BIOS on a computer back before they started getting fancy and having a mouse and everything, but like the old school BIOS, where everything is all just basically ASCII art windows and boxes, that's essentially a curses library. So... A lot of uh, a lot of CLIs like uh, Node and things have libraries you can draw, you know, interfaces in the console using just line art and you know ASCII art and things to make you know scrolling graphs and scrolling like progress bars and things make like a dashboard or a server monitor. So we've been working on that for Command Box with the goal of making like a, a server monitor for Command Box that could scroll like CPU usage, memory usage, server logs. You know, you name it, but we're kind of building an, uh, an extensible framework where anybody could build any kind of fun little console UI concept um, that's, you know, essentially animated. It's just drawing the screen over and over again. And it's been um, insanely fun to uh, to mess around with it. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I'm actually I was talking to Luis today. I'm hoping to do uh, some demos of some of this cool stuff in the into the box keynote, actually, just because it's so much fun. And we have a, just a bunch of ideas. Um yeah, if you if you want to play with it, uh, I tweeted about it the other day. the The library is called Command Box Escher. Uh, Escher is an MC Escher, the guy who draw the little you know optical illusions and stuff. And you can actually just clone that repo and and fire off a task runner and play around with it. I've I've had uh, uh, Daniel, no, 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 uh, again, Carlo Gomez also uh, submitted some fun little work to it to grab the current weather off of a website and display it on the screen. So I'm a I'm excited about that stuff because ASCII art makes me happy. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I threw that in the show notes and in the, the stream, that repo link, because uh makes me happy too. 